Hi, welcome to Anselm McGriffin's 8 tutorial on MATLAB and we're just going to finish off some of the area process. In previous ones we met some IM filter commands, we met a, a F special average and we met F special Laplacian. So we'll just do one or two more here. I just had them here back a while ago and we're going to just read in the image we're going to grayscale it and we're going to we just do it here so h1 equals f special and so single quotes and we're going to say log so Again, as I mentioned before, I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of a log filter. It's a Laplacian, a Gaussian. So what does a Gaussian do? It smooths. Why do you want to smooth? You want to remove the noise. And after you've smoothed it, what do you want to do then? You want to get the Laplacian. So you and the Laplacian will identify edges or blobs or something like that. So the idea is you want to try and remove the noise. And then after removing the noise, you want to detect the, the things of interest. So that's okay. So we've done that. And then we say B gray blob, something like that. He goes IM filter, round the brackets. What do you want to IM filter? B gray. And what sort of filter do you want to use? Well, you want to use a H1 filter, which is not plus in the Gaussian. And again, we just run the semicolon to a suppressed the output. Let's have a look. The original. Okay, that's all right. Let's have a look at the grayscale. The grayscale, and now let's have a look at the filtered. So there's that, uh, and there are other filters there. Okay. So what we want to do now is we want to mention uh, how to use some other area transforms, and these examples were taken from uh, the MATLAB help file. Okay. So I just find this here to save me doing it again, and the command we're looking at. Grant. Let's have a look at the, the transform. Okay, and we've done that. Okay, you can also do, there's a projective transformation available. I have it again, this is taken from as I was mentioning, um, MATLAB can do projective transformations and the form of it is on screen there. Uh, we have the projective transformation and the function that does the project is make t-form and we've specified the parameters in here. We press return. Now let's apply the transformation. So B projective. I am transform the array, what's the array called? B gray by the name of the transform which is T transform 1. Let's have a look at it. There we are. So that's all we have. Now what we'd like to do is we'd like to save it. And where, how do we save? Well we write the command which looks something like this. Now, what does this do? It saves bproj. What does it call it? Sorrento projective.jpg. So we MATLAB knows I, because I put in the JPG extension, it knows I want to save it as a JPEG file. I specified the quality, which is 75. Okay. And where is this going to be saved? I mentioned this already. It's going to be saved to Z colon MATLAB. So, okay. I'm now going to rewrite it as quality 50. And now, 
saved the wrong thing. Sorry about that. And now we have it. Okay. How do we get the details about the file size? Use the command imf info. Okay, which is less to the user to pick up. Thanks very much.